Welcome to our tutorial on interpolation modes. Interpolation functions control the acceleration or deceleration of components between points and the speed at which the visual properties change. Right here, I have the top housing moving upward and then in the negative Z direction. Let me zoom in. And right now, we see that the movement between these two key points happens in a linear progression. The linear interpolation mode is basically our default mode. Let's right click on this key point and select interpolation mode from the bottom of the pop up menu. Our next option is snap. In snap mode, when I move the time bar, the component remains in position but then snaps at the last moment. Let's right click and explore the next interpolation mode, Ease In. In this mode, components start moving slowly and accelerate toward the end. If Ease Out mode is selected, your components move quickly in the beginning and decelerate near the end. Our last option is Ease In, Ease Out. In this mode, components accelerate to the midpoint of the sequence and then decelerate to the end. Let's take a moment to demonstrate how the modes work. We'll put this key point at 12 seconds. This key point I'll put at 14 seconds. Let's slide the time bar to the midpoint between these two positions. Now we're going to see how the position of the top housing changes at this point in time depending upon which interpolation mode we've selected. Right click, let's check the linear mode first. Next, snap. You see how the position of the top housing is different. Right click, select ease in. Right click, ease out and our last option, ease in, ease out. Now let's take a moment to see how the interpolation mode interacts with different properties of the components such as, for example, transparency. Let's select the appearance property. Now right click and place key. Slide the time bar to the 14 second mark. Let's right click on appearance. Expand and select Change Transparency. Now we've got a second change bar under the top housing component. When I mouse over this key point, I see that the transparency is set to zero. If I mouse over the key point at the 14 second mark, the transparency is set to 75%. Let's again go to the midpoint between these two key points. I'm going to right click, interpolation point. Let's select snap. The transparency parameter kicks in only at the end of this change bar. The next option is Ease In. Ease Out. You see how the transparency value changes at the midpoint. Last option, Ease In, Ease Out. The same principle can be applied to other color parameters. Right click, delete. Let's put the time bar at the 14 second mark. Now let's right click on Appearance. Select Appearance, Color. Let's scroll down, and let's say for demonstration purposes I'm going to use red. Click OK. Here's a pink change bar. The color coding is quite convenient actually when you don't have an expanded version of your components. You can basically tell by the color you've applied in the timeline window. When I mouse over the key points, I see the blue color selection over the first key point, 
And over the second key point, I see a red color selection. Let's drag this key point to the 16 second mark now. I want to demonstrate how the color changes. Once again, we'll leave the time bar at the midpoint between these two key points. Right click and let's change our interpolation mode. Linear is currently selected. Let's select Snap. Now we'll right click and select Ease In. Right click, Interpolation Mode, Ease Out. And finally, we'll select Ease In, Ease Out. And this concludes our tutorial on interpolation modes.